Hi, I'm Deborah, and this is Kids to Cuisine, where we show you tips, tricks, hints, and hacks to create wonderful food that all ages can enjoy. Today, I'm raiding my fridge, and we're going to be making a pasta salad. There'll be a bonus in the video, watch for it. The pasta salad that I'm making today is going to be Greek in theme with farfalle or bow tie pasta. If you want to learn more, please leave a comment, tap like, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Start the pasta the way you normally do. I use four quarts of water and a tablespoon of salt to do about eight ounces of pasta. While the water is heating, from my fridge I take one green pepper, half, two stalks of celery, one carrot, a feta cheese of Kalmata olives, and some lemon juice. From the counter I grab some grape tomatoes. From the pantry I take some thyme, some oregano, some black pepper, some paprika, and some olive oil, because you can't make a vinaigrette without acid and olive oil. Prep all of the vegetables into bite-sized pieces. So just seed and chop the green pepper. And for the carrot, I use this neat and nifty julienne. I found it somewhere in my travels, and I think it just adds another layer of texture to the salad. I always cut the grape tomatoes in half because I'm usually the one who bites into it and squirts tomato seeds all over everybody. So I just try to eliminate If, that. like me, you like the extra flavor that unpitted olives brings to the table, but you don't want to have to hand peel every single pit away from the olive, simply take the flat blade of a large knife and roll it over top, pressing fairly firmly into the olive Basically what will happen is they'll pop. Then you just simply pluck out the pit and chop. Take about 12 to 15 olives. It gives you about a third of a cup. Take approximately a quarter of a cup of the vegetables, excluding the Kalmata olives. Take approximately two teaspoons of that and put it in the food processor. So now the food processor has a little bit of all of the vegetables in it, it has about a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. And I also use about a quarter of a cup of the brine that comes with the Kalmata olives. I hate to waste good stuff. To that, I add about a quarter of a cup of olive oil, and then I set it pulsing several times just to chop everything up. Once it looks emulsified, check for flavor, adjust the balance, and add up to another quarter of a cup of olive oil. Take a taste, adjust for seasoning, then check whether or not you like the consistency of the dressing, whether or not it's too rich in olive oil or too acidic. Use either the olive oil or the lemon juice or red wine vinegar to adjust it to where you like it. You pour it over the vegetables and here's the bonus. Because we've added some of the vegetables that would be going into the salad, into the dressing, the dressing is going to have more flavor. It will also be able to cling to the pasta a little bit better, cover the bowl and place in the fridge for two hours to let the flavors develop into the pasta. This is a great take along dish, whether you're taking it to a potluck, a picnic or other kind of event, it will last in a cooler, even on the table for a longer time than most traditional salads. It doesn't really wilt and it tastes even better the next day if it lasts till the next day. As a matter of fact, this one didn't last and this is all that's left. If this recipe interested you, please tap like or subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter or you can leave a comment below. Kids to Cuisine uploads videos every Monday and Thursday.